Good afternoon and welcome to our Mary Greeley Primetime Alive program. Fall is my favorite color. As you can tell, we have a little different setting going today, which means we're going to keep our masks on. Hope you can all still understand us. If not, you'll get to see the beautiful items crisp and clear today, so that will not be a problem. We don't have an opportunity to really ask questions today, but you can go ahead and email me and I can shoot some questions off to Jen um, later this week and I know she'll be happy to reply to you. We have two presenters today. We have Jennifer Ballman Ballantyne, who's been with us 10, almost 11 years now, and she is our auxiliary gift shop manager and buyer. And we also have Peggy Carr, who has been with us um, about five years and she is a volunteer and she helps out with merchandising and she's also a buyer and here we kind of refer to them as our dynamic duo in the gift shop so <laughs> without further ado I'm going to hand it over to Jen and Peggy. Well happy fall everyone what's not to love about fall Peggy? Oh. Fall, oh is, fall is one of the best times of the year. You've got the nice cool temperatures, especially after that really hot week that we had last week. And you can get out your fall clothes and get out cozy sweaters, drink some hot chocolate, go to some football games, pumpkin bars. Fall is the best time of the year. Soup season too, right? You bet. Oh my. Well, one of the things that we want to do today while the season is really changing outside is we want to maybe bring that season inside and help you with some decorating ideas and tips to bring that fall season into your home. Well, why don't we go ahead and begin with Peggy. Okay, well you might wanna get out a pen and paper, so maybe you can take some notes as we're going along here. And the first thing that we're gonna focus on is right outside of your door. Um, your entryway is um, one of the first things that people see, so you wanna have some really great curb appeal. So we're gonna help you design a pot or a planter for your front step. And what I'm gonna use here is a galvanized bucket that we have, and this has a great, a great um, fall saying on it with the pumpkins. But what's great about this pot is after fall, if you wanna use it for winter, you can just turn it around and nobody would know that it actually said anything about pumpkins on the, on the other side. And then you can also use um, your own planter. If you have a planter outside of your door and maybe it is um, summer flowers that after this really hot week they look kind of sad, you might want to just pull them and just put these different items that we're going to show you right into the dirt and that's a great way to use your own items too. Um, but before I start doing the pot I want to back up a little bit and say the first thing that you want to do is just go outside of your door and look around because if you're like me I use my garage door so much that I don't use my front door as often and when I go out there and look I think oh my the spiders have been busy there's lots of cobwebs in the corners and leaves have blown up there so you just want to clean it up it's a great time of the year just to get the broom out and clean it all up and start with a really fresh palette so I'm gonna go ahead here and start designing our pot and I'm gonna grab some greeneries that the ratio did some damage for a lot of people's yards and porches and all that so I, I know the leaves are in all the different places yes my flowers kind of took a hit with all that so actually it'll be kind of nice to have something fresh to look at so I'm going to use this fall foliage and this one is actually plastic and plastic has come a long ways when we're talking about greenery um, I know when I was young when my mom had some plastic pieces they really weren't very pretty but now they are gorgeous and you would not even know that they were plastic you would think that they were real and something else about greenery is when you first purchase it, oftentimes it's pretty compressed and it's been in a box for a long time. So what you want to do is just gently give it some life, bring it some to life just by kind of bending the stems. And there are a couple different base stems on greenery. And this one is plastic. And there's also something that's called a taped stem. And you'll see it because it has tape. And that means that all these little extra pieces are taped on there. And if that's the case, if you have one of those, be a little bit more careful when you go to bring it to life because they can sometimes come apart. This one is all plastic, so it's a very easy one to work with. So we're gonna just stick that in. You could just stick it right in your dirt. I think they call this a Japanese maple. Uh, and it's nice because it does have some red tint to it, red and orange, so it's really nice for anybody that has the cyclone colors maybe on their front porch right now. Um, it's nice to bring out some of the reds. And when you're doing a porch pot, 
it's nice to have different colors, um, also different shapes of your greeneries, and also different heights. So we've got our tall base there. And now we're going to... pliable too, that's what's nice. You know, they're easy to bend then and fluff, we call it. Now we're going to use some aspen leaves. And these, these are going to bring in a little bit of that golden color that's always great to see in the fall. And with this one, you're going to notice I bent it a little bit. And that's just to give it a little bit of a, a different height. And it's, once again, that solid plastic stem. If you have the wired one, when you go to bend it, be real careful. He has a little red and gold, right? Yep. OK, so now I'm going to go back. Green. And I'm going to add just a little touch of green. But the edge of this does have a little tip of fall color on the edge. And I like this little touch of green because when you see fall outside, you are going to see a little bit of the green still showing through, a little bit of summer still in there. So I'm just going to slip in front here to just get this positioned. And I'm going to have that have a little bit of a hangover there. Just a little bit of draping in the front. And as I said, you want to kind of just pull the leaves, just kind of make them come alive a little bit there. And this one we're going to just put right down here. And that's also just going to trail out of the planter a little bit. And then I've got three more little green because if you've noticed a lot of the pieces I've used I've used threes I used three of the reddish colored back pieces and three of the aspen leaf and now I'm going to use three of these and these once again are a plastic but these are one of my favorites they're fairly inexpensive and look at all the pretty colors you've got the reds the greens the golds and these are the smaller ones so we did have diff different heights there so we're just going to tuck these in Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit more character. I'm going to put a couple pumpkins in here. We've got a white one. Now, you'd only want to put these pumpkins in if you had this in a protected area. Um, they are kind of lightweight, so they would perhaps blow out. Something else you could do is you could wire them. You could um, put some hot glue and a, and a wire, and you could actually stick them down in the dirt, too, of your pot. And then we're going to just put this one right here. And what's great about these pumpkins is you don't have to worry about um, trying to get rid of them after the season is over because these you can just keep and you buy them once because they are artificial, but they look very real. Now you can also add a pretty bow if you would like to for fall. And that dresses it up a little bit too. OK, now Jen's going to show you some um, doormats if you want to have this on your step, but perhaps put something nice in front of your door. If you don't have a seasonal mat, we do have an everyday mat that could be all year. This is the mat that we have here. Of course, it says home in the state of Iowa, but that's nice to put by your front door, which is the next area that we are going to work on. And this one's just neat with the black because black kind of stabilizes things. They almost say with um, even furniture in your home, it's always nice to have one piece of black furniture. Um, so we kind of made this to put out front of your home. Just And one of the things you'll see a lot is people are layering. Um, and so underneath this mat, you might put a larger mat that's like a black and white check. And that's really kind of a neat thing to see these days is the layering. Very so fun. If you were going to do that type of thing. Okay, and then you're going to put the other one up. Okay. And we do have several of these, so those are really a great little everyday mat. But then to make this more seasonal, we have kind of a Harlequin pumpkin front door mat. 
And this one is kind of fun because you could um, stray away from the oranges and the yellows or the, and the golds for a fall and add a contrast of your black and white. And look at how that picks that up, ties in, ties in the rug very nicely. This would also be a great way to contrast maybe if you have a, a white house with black shutters. That would look great too. Absolutely. Okay, so. And I think even though this may look almost the Halloween, you could put it out now, leave it up till Halloween. It could maybe be a little more Thanksgiving if you wanted to with the pumpkins, but that's just a nice season one for this time of year. And we show the reef. Should we go ahead and take this down maybe? Okay, we're gonna show you now some things for your door. Well, and as Peggy mentioned, to tidy up your front porch area of sweeping the cobwebs, the same thing goes for your front door. If you have a storm door, make sure your glass is clean. And, from you. and if your front door has any windows, just make sure those are clean as well. The first wreath that we have, it has the twig backing, but all the bright colored flowers. And we just fluffed this. And as Peggy mentioned before, a lot of times when you get a wreath or you get a pick or a stem, you want to fluff. And so you just, again, just kind of bend your leaves and, and just kind of work them so it makes it look nice and full. This particular wreath does have the circle tab on the top, so that way if you do have a wreath hanger that goes inside your door, uh, in between the storm door and your, and your front door, it's kind of nice to hang that on there. But that's a lovely wreath. And here's another one, Jan. And the next one we have, again, bringing some of the reds. This is a twig and the Japanese maple wreath. Again, just a lovely color wreath. We fluffed as well. If you're tired of the wreath on the door, why don't you bring it inside for Thanksgiving time? You could put this on the center of your dining room table. If you have a hurricane light or even just a lantern that you want to put in the middle with a battery-operated candle or something, you could tuck that in the inside and it just makes a wonderful dining room presentation on your dining table. And wreaths I always feel like are a great investment because you do have so many different ways that you can use them to uh, use it as a door piece but then as a tabletop piece that's you, you kind of get two things for the one price. Right. And this can go indoors as well you yeah. know we talked about for the dining room table but then if you have a foyer or entryway or a room that has an empty spaced wall you could put the wreath on it. And you could also put a bow on that and also with the other one just tucking a little bit of a bow on there really makes it look uh, a little bit more personalized. That looks nice with that. And the bow could go on the side or it could go yep. on the top. Very nice. We only have two of each of these wreaths left so no pressure. <laughs> Another thing you could do there's something very simple for a front door. You could do a sign. And the first sign we have, this is just very simple, hangs on your front door. And that's the welcome friends for fall. Nice that you can leave it up and you've got till Thanksgiving to enjoy it. And very lightweight. Lightweight, yep. And that's just a great little size for a front door. The other sign we have a little more on the seasonal side with trick-or-treat time, but we have the trick-or-treat sign and just a nice size, but if you wanted, you could also tuck that on top of the wreath um, for your front door. Just adds a little more color, adds a little more fullness. And then af nice. after Halloween, just take that out yep. and then you've got your, you're ready for Thanksgiving with just your um, pretty mix of the fall greenery. Mm -hmm. Next for your front door, we chose a basket, and we love this one because it could set up right, plus it could also hang on a wall, and it can hang on your front door. So just very simple basket, wonderful price, and adds a little texture, easy with the handle that's just a rope, and what we're going to do. It, this, this is just to show you how easy it is to make a nice little arrangement. Just got three of the same. They're a fall eucalyptus. They've got a little touch of an orange berry. A 
voila. There, just a nice little statement. And it's wonderful because the size and the depth of this vase, of the uh, basket, is really nice going in between a storm door and a door. That's what's nice if you have the space to do that. So that's why we chose the basket, because it is very, um, a good size proportion in between them. Turn it sideways so they can see. Oh, sure. I thought I did. Okay. So now we're going to travel into, we're going to go in your front door and we're going to do your entry or your foyer. Um, that once again is kind of a first impression. A lot of times people don't come all the way into your home. And now with COVID, unfortunately, we aren't having many people in our home at all. But it's really nice to, if for, not for them, do this for yourself, just to make your home feel a little bit more um, cozy and uh, you enjoy being there. So in your foyer, many of you might have a console table, you might have a little sofa table, you might have a chest. I know in my front entryway, I have just a neat antique chest with a lamp on it, which gives some light to that space. But it's also nice to change it out for the season, since that's kind of a first impression when you walk in the home, and so that's really nice to change that for your seasons. We've got a candlestick, and this is actually uh, I guess you'd call it reclaimed wood that they have made this candlestick out of. And that particular process is really popular right now. So you could use this as a candlestick with a candle, but we're gonna actually use it as just something to hold our little bit of greenery. Mm -hmm. And this is our little, our little um, fall topiary, our little fall orb. orb. Mm -hmm. And they're great because they're already arranged for you. All you have to do is plop it on there. Then we add, we're just gonna add a little black frame which is really again adding a little bit of the black to our grouping but this also could add your personality maybe you have a special picture of some grandchildren that you want to put there by the foyer you could do that mm -hmm. you could also type in a sign you know maybe saying something about the seasons if there's a famous statement or or poet or something like that you want to create your own little sign you can and now we're going to add our little bit of fall Peggy's so good at this because, well, she does a lot of research. Which, which is shopping. Is shopping. <laughs> and she sees lots of neat ideas when she goes into different stores throughout Iowa and where else she travels. And but unfortunately with COVID, that's been put on hold a little bit, but um, hopefully we'll soon be able to get back to that shopping. Okay, we're just going to put the paper down, and that just kind of gives you a base, a little bit of softness. Um, just kind of divides the tabletop from the items that you're going to put out here for display. And I'm just going to put a little gold pumpkin, and that's a really rich look. It also brings out the gold on the little black frame there. And um, simple things, but yet gives a nice little look like, you've care, like you care about the season. And um, now we are going to switch that over going to quick add some of okay if you have other little pumpkins too that you wanted to add some more color you could you know just any little pumpkins figurines are really nice or if you have a different figurine that you'd like to put but you could add other colors if you wanted the gold is nice though it makes it even though this is more could be casual the gold makes it dressy and then we've kind of complemented the gold trim on the frame so now we're going to just switch it up a little bit and make it look a little bit scarier, a little bit more Halloween-like. We have some different books that are for Halloween. We want to make this more Halloween-looking. And so we have these cute little books that are actually a box which is really kind of neat because you can have it laying down, you could have it setting upright and even propped up as such. But we're gonna do, I think that's how we had it, and your frame too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, did we have it so that, so that we saw the, because yeah. it says some, the binding Halloween. on that book is cute, it says Happy Halloween. And we have these darling little vintage reproduction type figurines that are Halloween with the cat and the ghost, but just darling to add to that. So you can change it out for the fall with the different occasions that are going on, whether it's Thanksgiving or Halloween. And I've even done the paper at home when I wanted it to have a little bit more color. I shred the old paper and then I even take like a piece of construction paper with maybe oranges and golds and just mix it in there so it just gives it some nice color. 
You've even done that with um, old music sheets, you know, yeah. old piano music sheets, which is really kind of a neat thing to do to shred. Just adds a little color, texture, even a tea-stained look, but it just makes it really look sharp. I like that addition. Very neat. Okay. So we'll move those things. I'll carry this over for you. Now, for many of you that maybe don't have as many decorations, we understand space-wise, many people are have downsized and maybe don't have that type of room to display all these lovely things. But you can also bring the scent of, of the fall season into your home. One of the candle lines and um, that we carry in the shop are by Times. And if many of you are familiar with Fraser Fur, which is their best selling scent, the same company has a scent that's called Heirloom Pumpkin, and it just has a little bit of the spice, the pumpkin, a little vanilla, just very light fragrance. And we have that in a diffuser, which is something that's nice that if you don't want to burn a candle per se, the diffuser is really a wonderful unit, I think, to have. Gives out a light fragrance. In the box, you get this bottle filled with oil, and you get a bundle of the bamboo reeds, and that is how the fragrance comes through the bamboo and up into the air, and it just gives a nice scent to your home. And I can attest to that. I have one that's two years old, and, yeah. I, and if I uh, just change those it's sticks reeds. out, flip them out, um, it is a wonderful scent once again. Yeah. And they do. This can usually last a year, year and a half, or Peggy, like I've, she said, two I've years. I've had mine two so, years. Yeah. And then the other item we have in that same scent, we have a room spray. And so if you just want to give a gentle mist in a certain room or throughout your house, you can do that. You don't need to be real generous with it. But we have a room spray that's a nice um, scented item. And then the other thing we have is a candle. And with our candles, you can burn them. Or to be a little more cautious, I guess, with burning, you can buy the scent warmer, the candle warmers, and it's just like a hot plate, just like a tiny little hot pad for a candle, and those, we, we use those actually in the shop, and that way we aren't burning a candle, but oh, it just gives such a nice scent in the home. So we have those different things if you wanted to add and bring fall into your home in a different way. And scents can do a lot. Oh, um, a yeah. fall scent just automatically makes you think of fall. Definitely, definitely. Well. Thank you so much for allowing us to come into your home today. Um, we appreciate any kind of business these days, but we understand that it's, uh, there's some restrictions there. But we want to thank you for coming into your home. Our hope is that you enjoyed our presentation today and hope you can put some of these tips and, and ideas into play at your home. Um, if you have any questions at all, you're welcome to your feel free to call the shop. We can help you with any of those things and also any of the things that, we, that you saw today. But thank you again, and happy fall. Be safe, everyone.